Yeah, 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 yeah. Biohacking success. Three brains. Two minds. All right, guys. So I just wanted to tell you why I'm uh, doing this vlog. I, I don't like that word, but I'll have to think of another name. But why I'm recording these little episodes. Um, you know, quite honestly, oh, I better put my seatbelt on. Hold on. Yes, I'm driving, but I'm not holding the phone and I'm not looking at it. So, uh, so it's okay. Okay. So the reason why I'm, uh, I'm actually doing this, let's turn the face here. The reason why I'm actually doing this is because I have a lot of thoughts on my head and, uh, maybe I'll tell you a little bit about my story for those of you that don't know. But I, um, uh, you know, after my 25 years of business uh, experience, I was the marketing director for several high-end and trendy uh, retail uh, shopping districts, shopping centers, and retailers. And, uh, you know, I really actually really liked my job. I was able to do a lot of nonprofit work, uh, incorporating uh, my work with the SPCA helped start um, the first SPCA LA Pet Adoption Center, which was actually one of the first nonprofits to have a um, a store for um, for adopting out animals, and it was a retail store combined. And I uh, I was able to talk my boss into donating the space, um, so. That was actually a, a great um, a great thing because it later developed into eight stores for them, made money, introduced them to a whole new market because it was in downtown LA. So um, it was just it was really it was really great, and it brought my shopping center um, extra dollars and extra people. Anyway, uh, so I was able to do a lot with my um, with my career, and I loved it. You know, I'm I'm all about fashion, and uh, in my last job. Uh, in that whole marketing director um, time in my life, I was the marketing director at Rodeo Drive. So, you know, it was like uh, a lot of Louboutins and Jimmy Choo's and I shopped at Barney's a lot. Um, it was just a, that was a very fun time. So uh, I'm actually gonna tell you about my Barney's light bulb moment. Not, not today, but I'll do it uh, at some other time. Anyway, and I do believe that everyone should go to Barney's at some point in their life, just to get the experience of um, of these very wealthy people who are just so ordinary. I mean, they wear flip flops. They um, and the surroundings are just uh, impeccable, um, and you get treated no matter who you are um, with a lot of respect. These people, I, I like to say, like attract respect, and it and it makes you hold yourself a different way, so that you attract respect, regardless if you're making millions, if you live in a mansion in Beverly Hills, you don't have to. Um, so, anyway, that was my last job, and then uh, the economy crashed, and I uh, I lost my job, and because my whole background is retail um, based and very specific. It was, I, I couldn't get a job. Like, regular marketing places that were hiring marketing um, for marketing directors, they didn't want me because I was so shopping center specific. And there were very few jobs. And this was in 1980, or 19, no, 2009. <laughs> wow, I'm really dating myself. Anyway, uh, so that was really like a, a very eye opening experience for me. And so, um, you know, I, uh, I spent many years trying to get a job. I, I didn't know, you know, being an entrepreneur was not, was just not my DNA. I, I wasn't designed to be an entrepreneur. I didn't, uh, I had never studied it. I, my dad was a, a college professor and head of the civil engineering department at Texas A&M. So I really just didn't understand what, uh, what being an entrepreneur was. And so I, uh, I spent five years trying to find a job, working miscellaneous things, doing con some consulting work. And then finally, um, I, I got, uh, I, I 
I needed to get a job. I had blown through my savings and I realized I wasn't getting a job. In addition, my parents had died and I got this really bad genetic health condition. So like both my thumbs are dislocated. It's like a connective tissue disorder and it caused my whole colorectal system to collapse. So over the past four years, I've had three failed surgeries, uh, three feet of, of intestines cut out, and I'm incontinent now. And so my, my daily life, I spend about like six or seven hours a day in the bathroom, um, my and that's all in the morning. So if you, uh, if you follow me at all, you know, I'm very habitual and, um, and, and, and very time oriented. So I designed my health condition to work around <laughs> a schedule. And so I make it work for me. You know, this is why biohacking success is very important to me because I believe that, um, and, and research now shows you can reverse genetics through the power of your mind and through your diet. So I'm, I'm going to be talking about that more in this vlog because I want to educate people that whatever health issue you have, whether it's being overweight or feeling sluggish, you can cure it with your mind and the food that you put in it. So I will be talking more about that and on my podcast I'll be interviewing um, some of the top holistic health specialists. So anyway, um, you know, I spend a lot of time alone because of my health condition. And I've had a lot of business experience. And you know, I'm 48 and, uh, and I work with people who are just amazing. They have amazing lives. They have lives outside of their businesses. And uh, you know, they're, they're holistic nutritionists, high level psychologists, um, people that do psyche. Like these people are changing the world and they wanna go change the world and not live on Facebook and and do all these things. So I find the way that typical business is being built very kind of boring. And uh, and so, you know, uh, Harlow and I sit, are sitting in the car, so maybe I'll, I'll exit in a second, hold on. But anyway, so, so it's kind of just uh, a little, uh, you know, my background. And so uh, one day I was, uh, <laughs> I was trying to deal with Facebook and, uh, wait, hold on. I'm just going to, I'm going to take you out of the car. Hold on one second. So one day I was trying to deal with Facebook and I, um, hold on one second. So one day I was trying to deal with Facebook and, uh, and I realized, uh, oh my God, I am so bored. <laughs> I am so bored. I, I love my clients. I love talking to them. I loved my group, the Genius Collective on Facebook. If you're not in it, it's like amazing. But uh, I'm bored with, with Facebook and the way that everybody's talking about um, the same things over and over again. Like, you know, build a list. Don't build a list. Uh, you know, post on Facebook. Don't post on Facebook. Like, go and uh, follow me and take this webinar. And I don't know, it's just so boring to me and then I realized everybody's bored everybody's bored with the way that businesses are being run and so a lot of the geniuses the people that I work with who are uh, have a lot of expertise you have a, a major life issue that you've uncovered you know you're like a change maker and you want to change the world and the way that people are teaching uh, you how to market your business is to blend in and blending in doesn't get anyone attention I don't care who you are and so, you know, um, I, I realized I was bored and I decided uh, that I talk a lot about being different, but I'm, I'm not actually doing it. I was falling victim to my health condition, which I, I uh, my mentor told me I was using it as an excuse. Even though I can't control it, he's right. And so, anyway... Um, so I decided to start this vlog so I could um, get out of this whole like uh, thing and make my life interesting, speak to the people that, um, that want to hear this information and do it in a way that's like different than everybody else so that you don't have to do it this way but so that it gives you permission to do it your way. Whatever you want to do, do it your way feel stupid 
You're not. Trust me, there's people that need to hear your voice. Just like you're listening to me right now, do it in your own way. You don't have to do a vlog. You could do um, you know, a radio show. You could do whatever it is. You don't have to do it the way other people are teaching you. Be an individual. Do it your way. It's fun. It really is. And I can help you create um, ideas for it. Uh, if you want to come join me at the Genius Collective or check out my website at totalgenius.net, that's what my Discover Your Genius is all about. Discovering what it is your expertise and life experience has led you to and it, the way that you need to market it, not only to appeal to your ideal clients, your bu best business friends, but to have fun. Because if you're not having fun in your business, you're doing it all wrong. So anyway, Harlow and I are headed to my office at the coffee shop. And so have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Well, the view is much better from above, right? It's so much better. I think you look thinner. This is so much better. Okay, awesome.